A number of Democratic senators refusing to meet with Supreme Court nominee Amy Coney Barrett. So what can we expect as the Senate battle over her confirmation heats up? Senate Judiciary Committee member, North Carolina Senator Tom Tillis joins us from uh, North Carolina. Good morning to you, Senator. Good morning, Steve. What does that say to you that they are so political they won't even sit down and talk to her for five minutes? Well, honestly, Steve, I think it's because they're going to make a circus when they get into the committee. And if they met with Judge Barrett for an hour, they would be they would find it very difficult to go after her the way I think that they're going to. This is an extraordinary uh, mother of seven children. It's going to be the first justice with school age kids and the history of the United States. Incredible academic record. Uh, great work as a jurist. A uh, number of people across the ideological spectrum who mm -hmm. support her clerked with her. So I don't think they want to meet her because if they know her beforehand, it's going to be a lot more difficult to pull off the theater I expect to see on October the 12th. Well, Senator, you know that what the Democrats are doing, they're saying that if she is confirmed, she will pretty much single-handedly kill off the Affordable Care Act and Roe v. Wade. Right, and and I and I think that's just another political stunt that the uh, the Democrats really what the Democrats want to do is distract the discussion away from who would Joe Biden put forth. I, I'd like everybody to go out to JoeBidenJudges.com. We've done the homework. We knew who were on some of Obama's and uh, Biden's shortlist. You should go to JoeBidenJudges.com and take a look at many people they are likely to put forward, and Joe Biden refuses to even publish a list. He won't publish a list and he won't, uh, neither he nor Kamala Harris will talk about whether or not they would pack the courts, which well, a majority of Americans say, we like, we like the number nine. We don't want to see 17. Well, Steve, AOC and Chuck Schumer were on stage last week saying they wanted to do just that. And I think my opponent, Cal Cunningham, will go up there. They'll vote for the nuclear option on the legislative filibuster and they could expand the Supreme Court by as many as four. Then those judges on JoeBidensJudges.com mm -hmm. are even more likely to get up there and pack the court. With liberal activist judges, there'd be nothing more than legislators in robes. And what Chuck Schumer's trying to do is create a third chamber for the U.S. Uh, for U.S. Congress so that he can legislate mm -hmm. from the bench. Senator, you just mentioned your opponent, Cal Cunningham. We did invite him on the program. Uh, we have not heard back from him. But how would will this confirmation of Amy Coney Barrett impact your race there in North Carolina? Well, I think a lot of uh, people like uh, Judge Barrett. They like the conservative judges. I think that this is going to motivate people in North Carolina to go to the polls, particularly if they go out and see what the alternative is. I really encourage everybody to go out to JoeBidensJudges.com and see what is in store for us if Cal Cunningham wins. Uh, he'll be a rubber stamp for Chuck Schumer. They will expand the Supreme Court. And then they'll take this country in a direction it's never gone before. All right. Tom Tillis, uh, sitting member of the Senate Judiciary Committee, joining us from Charlotte today. Sir, thank you very much. Thank you, Steve. Have a great week. You as well.